um, fellow countrymen, yesterday Morara Kebaso was attacked. And it is a very painful uh, video to watch a young man who has put his life on the line trying to um, do civic education, being attacked in that manner. But I want to I want to put this thing into its real context because I can see people scattering around this issue. It is high time we put it in the right place so that we be on the record as people who have spoken strongly against it. And first of all, um, I want to take this opportunity to, to condemn whatever happened to Comrade Morara Kebaso um, in the most strongest terms possible. It should not happen. And and like I have said, people try to scatter around this issue. Let me say it the way it should be said. Yesterday, Morara Kebaso was attacked by ODM. ODM members of parliament arranged on how Morara Kebaso was attacked. And Morara Kobaso was attacked by ODM goons. They normally call themselves men in black. And they cheered. All right. Who could have imagined that a party that has always um, demonstrated itself as the democratic party, the party fighting for the freedom, becoming the party that is now perpetuating the culture of impunity and fighting a young man who is actually advancing the values they claimed they stood for. History will record that it is Morara, Keba it is Morara Kebaso who was doing the civic education resonating with the people. All right? And history will record that ODM uh, members of parliament organized for the beating of Morara Kebaso. Very sad. And you see, right now, ODM is purely dom dominated by Lewis. So it is right if I say that Morara was attacked by Lewis. A people who have known the pain of oppression, people who have been, who have suffered under a uh, previous regime, People who have suffered even under Ruto, when Ruto was with Uhuru, are the ones who are now defending Ruto. You know why? Because my Luo brothers and sisters, I'm sorry to say this, sometimes they are very cheap. President Daniel Arap Moe used to say that Mjaluo ni mutu menye ukimpatia 20 bob, akili yake inabadilika. Now it is true. By just a mere four CS positions, has made my Luo brothers and sisters to be blinded by what is happening. And they are betraying a cause that is demanding to change the structure of leadership and governance in this country. Simply because a mere portage of four positions of CSs were given to them. They now think they own the government and they can now continue to enjoy simply because they have an issue, issue to sort out with the Kikuyus. Let me tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, whatever you, those goons did to Morara Kebaso, and I, I can confidently say they were Lewis. Yes, Morara Kebaso was attacked by Lewis. And there are Luo goons in ODA attached to um, that idiotic member of parliament for, for Waraka, right? And Madare. And they did it after under that instruction. That is why you would hear them cheer. My Luo brothers, let me tell you, and I've been saying this for a very long time. When the liberation of this country will happen, and it will happen, whether you like it or not, you people will take a back seat. You will take a back seat and whatever effort that you had put will not count. And the people will see you as a, as, a, as a people, this generation will see you as a people who perpetuated the culture of impunity 
due to your own due to your own self aggrandizement with with the kikuyu community which has got nothing to do with leadership and integrity at all at all you are only doing that because it is convenient for you now because you feel the kikuyu didn't vote for raila odinga who is a conman by the way still because he is he is part of this government that is oppressing kenyans let me tell you this thing that you have done to morara kebaso will one day come to hit you and you will regret what you have done when the whole country is singing kufa dereva kufa makanga you have chosen to embolden a, a regime that is collapsing in the next two years and you have decided to enjoy that it will backfire on you my people and if you are not careful no any other kenyan community will take you serious again and it will be a segregation of tribe when it comes to human justice and governance how i wish you can see the bigger picture of what is happening in the country right now people want this regime to go but you are propping it up and you are propping it up because you support his excellency raila amolo odinga who is now in bed with william samoei ruto whatever lugos did to morara yesterday is not good it is unjust and karma will pay for it mark my words yo i've seen that morara video man I'm so hurt man I'm so hurt man I'm so disappointed man I don't know Kenya Kenya we are still a very long way to go We claim to be a democratic uh, nation but we ain't man we are not man I think we have a long way to go like in the video I just get goosebumps all over I feel like tearing man I feel like crying man my heart is bleeding for Kenya man like wale watu unajaribu kusaidia ndio wanapewa pesa kidogo we're still a long way to salvation man we're still a long way to salvation and somehow i had a feeling such a thing would happen i was actually to go and i was like ah Last minute I was like no I'll just choose not to go because nikienda ningeongea na nikiongea mimi wanasema ukweli na nikisema ukweli wanachoma na nikichoma mambo yanachemuka na kishachemuka ah. I've seen the video I've seen Caswell's speech I've seen a number of things that are happening and I'm just like hey Kenya bado Morara, I'm so sorry, bro. It's gonna be fine. Um, your advisors could have let you know that 90% of the people in that space are people who have been paid to be there. You could not have gone, but you already went. I know you meant well, but it's fine. Caswell, your speech has given people a couple of mixed reactions. Okay, one time you are this side must go today you are this side must go where are you Yeah Yeah I think yeah we need to have a conversation and amidst all this Rikiji also your team is also slack it's slacking because they are not speaking the other side is speaking this other side is not speaking and only you can tell your story okay eh. but I've, I've seen i've seen the story for for morara man i feel so heartbroken anyway caswell monday tupatano be na show live tuongeo be na show live morara utakwasawa Guys, we need to protect Morara. Like that guy is helping show what has been promised and what has been delivered. Like that's all he's doing, man. Then for the other politicians, Morara is the guy who's 
holding you accountable. And right now we are having so many moraras. I'm a morara. There's another morara. There's another morara. Because me, when I see something that is supposed to happen and it's not happening, I'll call it out. I'll say, hey, yo, why is this not happening? That is why I call some of you to my show. We sit down and I hold you accountable. I'm like, yo, what did you promise your people? What did you say you'll do? Umefanya maka wapi? Umefika wapi? And at this moment, I'm going around different counties. I'm sitting down with the governors. I want to talk to them. Like, there's this governor I really want to sit down with. Uh, Kawira Mwangaza. I really want to sit down with that governor and understand why all the time, the impeachment story all the time, and many other governors and other MPs and senators and whoever it is who is in a public office, I want to sit down with you and understand. You promised this. You say you'll do this. What happened? Because between the promise and the delivery, there's normally a lot of things that happen. I want to sit down with the president. I want to find out why are we so focused on impeaching Gashagwa and people are dying in hospitals because of the shift story. I want to find out what, what, what are the priorities, man? What's happening? The story about the airport. There was no public participation. There's a lot that is happening and we're just we're so focused on the wrong priority. The priority right now is to solve the situation of the hospitals and the shift. We have the 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 what when you are goma, the teachers, the doctors, nini. We have the farmer situation. We have the tax situation. Like, what are our priorities? Okay, I was just thinking. So, if we successfully impeach Gashakwa, our tax is going to reduce. Are we going to get the airport back? Is she going to be gotten rid of? Are we going to now put dialysis and the other stuff that have been omitted from the ship uh, cover? Like, what's going to happen? Are we going to arrest all the incompetent uh, people who are stealing and squandering public funds? Like, what happens? So we impeach the Shagwa and then what happens? Then, the person who are going to put there, is it the person who's going to side with you or is it the person who's going to go against you? Like there's so much that is pending that we need to discuss. I don't know, man. But I'm, I'm so ashamed at what happened today. My heart bleeds for Kenya. But let's wait and see how it goes. Let's wait. Even in the comment section of this video, you will see other people will still insult me and do like... Man, our priorities are so wrong, but it's fine.